And finally today, again, folks, I am so sorry we are running out of time, but I do have one more thing I want to talk about here, and that is South Dakota Governor Christy Nome. Christy Nome, an ethics board this week in South Dakota, said that it's likely, likely they said, that uh, she engaged in misconduct with regard to her daughter's real estate appraiser's license. This is a weird, weird story because it also involves a Republican attorney general who had to uh, resign in disgrace after he ran over somebody. But this Republican attorney general at one point was hot on Gnome's trail <laughs> working on this case, you know, and Tilly pretty much killed somebody and had to leave office. It's not funny that somebody died. It's just funny that these Republicans in South Dakota are so screwed up. But anyway, what had happened was that Christy Nome's daughter a couple years ago, uh, was it Cassidy Peters <laughs> wanted to become a real estate appraiser, but you got to have a license in South Dakota to do that. So she applies, she takes the tests, all of this, and they look at it and they say, nah, you can't have your real estate appraisers license, but mommy was the governor. So what Christy Nome did was she called a meeting and she called a meeting <laughs> uh, with the state employee who ran the agency that gives those licenses, the woman's direct supervisor and the state labor secretary. And for some reason, even though she's not a part of the government, Cassidy Peters, Gnome's daughter was also involved in that meeting. Four months after that meeting, magically Christy Gnome's daughter gets that real estate license or real estate appraiser's license. And then they also fired the individual who had originally denied her the license. We do not know. I mean, we don't know for certain <laughs> what happened in that meeting. We obviously see the outcomes. The person who denied the license loses her job. They then pay her $200,000 to not file a discrimination suit against them. And Cassidy Peters gets her real estate appraiser's license. Everybody goes home happy, right? And so this ethics board in South Dakota says, we think, you know, it's likely that she engaged in misconduct, likely. The issue is not over, but unfortunately we are out of time, but I think I got all out that we know so far. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. We got a great bonus show coming up for everybody, including Rick Scott leaving the country right as uh, Republicans want answers about where all their money went. I am Farron Cousins. I've been in for David Pakman. You can find me at youtube.com slash the ring of fire, youtube.com uh, slash fair and balanced, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at fair and balanced. This is the David Pakman show. Thanks for watching.